prijs die Heere, hy is getrouw, amen. Geen die persoon langs jou net so drukkie, sê vir hulle lekker welkom, good to be with you, lekker om saam te wees, it's been a quite an interesting week, a baie interessante week in Zuid-Afrika, nee, en die uh, springboks drink doe toe, wow, <laughs> wie van jy dit gekyk? Ja, maak het vir die goeie nies, it's not over yet, <laughs> it's not the end, en uh, prijs die Heere, ons blijdskap is nie afhankelijk van hulle nie, nee, ons blijdskap is afhankelijk van die Heere, and our joy does not lie in a person on earth, it's rooted in the person of Jesus Christ, and he says, I give you my joy, give you my blijdskap, het jylle blijdskap, kan wees. You know, it's also been an interesting week. Last week we had the flash floods. Ons het skielik in die vloede, maar hy fratschool begaat. We had these, what's a fratschool in Engels? Hier die springtijd, hier die hoog golwe. Het jylle die video's gekyk? Mense sit nog so in die restaurant en eet en skielik woesjag aan die tafel. Meister! <laughs> and it was quite shocking. Die jylle ooskus van Zuid-Afrika. Interestingly enough, if you have the God say 2022, you will read that it is a prophetic warning. That we will have floods, of let's say, uh, 128 said, there will be floods, <coughs> flash floods, with um, high waves on the eastern shore of South Africa. People will have to be very careful. People will have to also increase their insurance. <laughs> For those who own houses there. Interesting, ne? Dat ons gaan in die tijd, en hier is hier die klomp dinge, we had the place in Libya, the city in Libya, that a quarter of the city was washed away in an instant. Thousands of people out in the sea. Our world is changing. And as believers, as geloviges, it's necessary for us to understand the time we live in. It's baie belangrijk vir ons om te verstaan die tijd wat ons in lewe. We started last week speaking about discerning the seasons of God. And he says, sooner van die Heere in ons levens en ons families. And if there's ever been a time, as al ooit een tijd was vir my en jou, om rarig Jesus te volg, it's now. It really is now. And I do believe that as a people, as gemeente, we can really see it that your lives and my lives have had, has a very big competition going on. Ons compete elke dag, there's every day a challenge for where your heart is. Is it nie so nie? Elke dag, elke dag begin die battle, from early in the morning till, till tonight, there's a challenge for the focus of your heart. Have you guys noticed that suddenly there's a challenge on marriages? Vir echtgenote om hulle eie harte en hulle hevelike te hou. And the enemy comes and he brings temptation and situations in people's lives. En het gaan om jou hart. Because the word teaches that where your heart is, there your treasure will also be. So my friend, my brother, my sister, it's about our hearts. And so as we step into this season, so as we say soon and stop, I want to tell you there's nothing as bad as an offended heart. The enemy has come to steal, kill and destroy. And he uses your heart or the focus of your heart. And it allows the gap. Please read with me out of the book of John. Also, there's some more of the book of Johannes. John, chapter 10, verse 1. And it lists us forth. Thank you, Daniel. It says, Very truly, I tell you, Pharisees, Anyone who does not enter the sheep pen by the gate, but climbs in by some other way, is a thief and a robber. As, jy moet verstaan, jou hart het a poort. Your heart has a doorway. Your life has a doorway. The prophetic word over this year is the door that's open before you. 
And if you allow things in your life, in the doorway of your life, that doesn't come, what nie kom dier die Heere nie, doesn't come from His heart or His word, your focus will be off, friends. And so, ons lees vir die gedeelte dag, en ek gaan daar oor gesels vanmorgen, because I really feel it's important that we as believers guard our hearts today. It says so, verse 2, the one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him. The Heere maak die weg oop. Hy maak die deur oop. He is the gatekeeper if we obey the gatekeeper opens the gate for him and the sheep listens to his voice. He's calling, he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes on ahead of him. He goes on ahead and he skapa volg him want he knows his stem. Verse 5. They will never follow a stranger. In fact, they will run away from him because they do not recognize a stranger's voice. Verse 6, Jesus used this figure of speech, but the Pharisees did not understand what he was telling them. The greatest danger is that I don't understand what God's heart is for us. We don't understand what God's heart is for us. We don't understand what the heart of the Lord is for our community. God has a heart for you and you and your family. And so say woord and, and say heart is nie um, prohibited, prohibited thing nie. Dis nie voorkomend om jou te keer om een goeie leven te heen. I spent some time with a young man recently who has a very specific call of God on his life. Very young, young man. And ek was op in my en sê, oom, ek weet die Heer het my geroep. Oom, ek weet dit is die plan van my leven, maar oom, ek kan nie nou vir die Heere ja sê nie. Ek sê, hoekom nie? Sê, ek het nog nie eers gelewe nie. Ek wil nog eers proe, hoe proe drank. Ek wil nog eers een bykie paar gedoen, dan wil ek ja sê. Sê, then you don't know God. <laughs> I tell you, God is the most adventurous person in the world. God is die meest avontuurlijke persoon in die wereld. You see, this year, God is putting before us an open door. This is the year 5784, according to the Jewish calendar, and according actually to the time and seasons. The word means, God puts before you an open door. You see, but there are many other open doors. We need to discern what door God is putting before us. The door where the Lord is for us will be a door that will bless your family. That will be a door that will your family. It will be a door that will honor the Lord. And I believe there is supernatural power and grace available for me and you, for me and I, as God's children, as we discern the heart of God in this season. But we need to be careful that we don't walk in our flesh. Hello. Jesus goes on to say, Therefore Jesus said again, Hy om nie verstaan nie. Hy sê weer, Very truly I tell you, I am the gate. The word daar gate, door for the sheep. Ek is die weg, ek is die deur vir jylle lewe. All who have come before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep have not listened to them. I am the gate, or the door, who enters, whoever enters through me will be saved. They will come in, and go out, and find pasture. Ek wil iets hier so sê, weet jy, partij keer, iemand bedien nou die dag, ek luister na so devotion, sê, Christians have to stop, concerning themselves with what they can get away with. And serve God with all their hearts. I believe that the Lord wants a passionate people. Wat God soek mense wat uitverkoop is aan hom. 100%. And I don't care where you come from today. Jy kan nou uit die slums en die gutters gekom het, but today make a decision that I will follow 
Jesus wholeheartedly. I will go through the door. Verse 10 then says the following. The thief comes only to steal and kill and to destroy. Die dief kom slechts, hy kom vir een rede, and you know what, that door might look like the greatest opportunity before you, but it will harm. If it's not the Lord Jesus' door, it will harm you. It will kill from you, it will destroy. I have come that you may have life, and have it to the full. Wanneer die Heere voor ons die Heere oopmaak, it will bring life. Wie van julle het al besluit te geneem en dan was die resultaat disastrous? Hallo, is daar so iemand die is te vermoor? Dan denk jy, oh my God. <laughs> Wie van julle het al besluit te geneem en dan staan hier en dan denk jy, how did I get here? But today, I want to say to you, that there's a reset happening in the realm of the spirit that God says the past is over. Die verlede is weg. Wanneer jy na Jesus te kom, en jy sê, Heere Jesus, ek bring my leven voor u, I Lord, I repent of my wrong ways, I repent God of the ways where I have walked, I repent God of my wayward heart, dat Heere, ek het my eie wil gesoek, en Heere, ek het hier allerhande plek is die Heere geloop. We had a friend, we have a friend who once testified, said he was, hy het in Amerika gewerk, en stroopers gerei, en op pad na a, uh, Een betaal dame vir die nacht, rij in die kar, en hy sing een liedje, en sê, prijs die Heer met blije galme, o my siel, dat is rijke stof. Sing hy, met sy hele hart, venster oop. En toe hy by die plekje kom, sal so lang ek leef sy genade, voordat ek toe by aan my lof besef, en by, I'm on the wrong way. <laughs> ek is op een verkeerde pad. And he was raised, in a traditional church, but lived so far from God and made such bad decisions. You see, your and my decision has a result. Ours besef nie, maar die besluite wat ons neem met die inpak oor die lewe van ons families. Wat Mariachi 2 sê, the highest level of violence a family or a person can experience, a child can experience, is the divorce of his parents. It's the highest level of violence. Dan weet jy, jy kan nog hier so sit en dier het gegaan het. But then trust God for his restoration today. But now, vandag, from this day, I will follow the Lord. And I will speak to my heart. And that's why Proverbs 4.21 says, Guard your heart above everything. I will speak to my heart to follow the Lord. Amen. You see, this is very important. Because while we are proclaiming, terwijl ons proclameer, dat die Heere voor ons een geopende deur sit, we need to know that we are following Jesus. We are not jumping through every door. Hello? Hello? Ja. Ek is gestraan by die winkel, ek het een seer lip, en ek toch ek koop met gauw een lipijs. Of een, ja, ek koop een lipijs. Ek staan aan die winkel, ek smeer die lipijs op. En uh, toe ek uitstap, ek loop ek in iemand vast, wat in Louis Trigard jare geblei het, they moved away, and they back, en jy die man sê vir my, jy is wiet jou gesien, jou lippe is so rooi gesmeer. <laughs> nee, nee, nie my gesien nie. Sê, nee man, jy lieg. <laughs> nee. Oh my goodness. Dit is a cherry blossom lip eyes. <laughs> En dat jou lyk of iemand die jou met een cherry blossom gesoen het. Hier is my lippe so bright rooi. So. Ek kyk in die kar en ek denk ek, kan ek nie. Het kom ook hier af hier. Bekie water. You see the point I'm actually coming to. It's so easy for our hearts to be led astray. If we don't guard it. If Jesus is not the door of my life, it is so easy for our hearts to follow after things. Not only worship at Yapi, but can pray to idols and good that in our lives is. It's so easy to allow my offense to be my door. 
Hello. It's so easy to allow my offense to speak to me. It's so easy to allow my flesh, my pride. Ek gaan nie overskoring vraag nie. <laughs> Wie dink hulle is hulle? Nee, ek so nook so, hmm. hulle het my benadeel. You know, there's nothing as bad. The word says, an offended person is like a city, as soos a omgorde stad, jy kan hom nie weer inneem nie. You can't change their heart because their offense is speaking so loud. Jesus didn't speak to unbelievers about this. He had not spoken to unbelievers about this. Have you seen what he said? He spoke to Pharisees, people who knew the scriptures. People who should know the word of God. And I'm telling you that God wants to pour out His Spirit upon us as a congregation. We as a church are called to be a regional hub for the power and glory of God. Amen. Almost prophecy and land to be influenced. God prophetically said that from our congregation will come forth the power of God to our nation and the nations. And that He will send these people at God say mense gaan stier and they will glorify God and speak of His grace. Now kijk over your beer man. That speaks of you. Hallo. Wat vrachtig waar. Ek kan dit nie alleen doen nie. Dank die Heere. Ek gaan vir julle stier. Christian Assembles. We'll pray you go to Uganda. Sê vir Christian Assembles. Moet gaan sê sê. You go. I'll pray for you. We send you in the name of the Lord. <laughs> gaan eer hy viskoppe, broer. Gaan eer tele. Ja, broer, ja, gaan eer in. <laughs> but the point is that God wants to work in your life. And dit beteken dat ek en u ons levens bou op die deur van wie Jesus is. That our lives is a, a controlled by obedience to Him. He is our shepherd and what He says goes. Hello. And this morning as we start with this, I want to say to you that I believe God's going to do a miraculous work. Last Sunday I said to you that part of the door that God is opening is supernatural debt cancellation. We have had in this week 23 people whose debt is gone. 23. Can we give the Lord a hand? And weet jy, van hulle het foute gemaakt. I was in, I do a program called Live at 5, on fi, at 5 o'clock on Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. So on one of these broadcasts, after the session, the person contacted me and said, we lost 10 million rands by making an investment mistake. It's our whole future gone. We retired a year ago. And this year in January, everything is wiped away. We are being put out of our house. Ons karre is al verkoop. We are taking care of our elderly parents. They had to leave their special care. The, the, oh, the, the pa is a biocyclic. And in very special care, he has to leave. He had to leave his special care home. So we are trying to accommodate. Ons probeer om by die huis versorg. And this is our situation. And we have, we have confessed to God that we have made a mistake. We didn't ask the Lord. Die ouwe het met ons gepraat. En weet jy, dat het alles so goed geklink. Alles het so reg geklink. And, and we know him for so many years. En words weg is hy. And now it's gone. But we've tonight listened to the broadcast. Ons het vanavond geluister. Vanavond vraag ons die Heere, God, would you help us? God, would you help us? So they called and we agreed in prayer. Said God, Heere, I is the enigste Heer. What can help? And you know, in this scheme, it's about 300 million rands that is lost in total. On Wednesday, 
I was on and they were there. The while I was being still the boots, I said, we have been fasting and praying. We have been dealing with stuff. Yet you know, we have been dealing with stuff. Hoog begin lewe, ons het bykie self goeders toegelaat, wat ons nooit zou so doen nie. So we have been repenting to God, where we have been unfaithful to the Lord in our finances. Ons het ons voor die Heere gaan bekeer, waar ons harte het ons gelei. Weet jy, ons het sommer vir twee van ons kinders huise gekoop. En ons het sommer net hierdie goed gedoen, en hierdie goed gedoen, en alles klink goed, but it was not what God said. So we have been repenting and dealing with our hearts. Ons het toegelaat, sê, Jere, help ons, and, and we have been dealing with this stuff in our lives. And so we continually in, we continuing in faith to trust the Lord. Last night while I watched the Springbok rugby game, kreeg twee mis calls van hulle. Ek denk ek, dis is nog so tyd waar ons om met die bel. Ofwel, ek het is mis calls, maar ek gaan nie optel nie, ek wil kyk wat maak hulle. <laughs> Ja, toe skop hy die bal mis, toe is ek so gestres. Ek kan nie nou nog praat. Denk, wat maak Mani Libok daar? <laughs> My hand roep al haar, sit en kyk die game van die veld af, het ons best ons kop, en nou sy nie daar. Nou wil een fans in my hart kom hier, ouwens weet nie wat hulle doen. The game was finished, so I sent the message, are you guys still away? <laughs> to accent that I can lay the phone and say, I'm sorry, I was just watching the rugby game. So, oh, I let forget this from Bokus Bill. Say, excuse, when you learn in Africa. <laughs> I was paying yesterday at Spar something, then the cashier said to me, Don't miss the game tonight, Pastor. Don't miss the game. We need your prayers to win. <laughs> <I> said, okay. <laughs> Ek sal haar bid, maar ek kon nie veel bid nie, ek het te kwaad geraan. My eerste miskop, denk ek, dan wil ek die referee gaan gesel. Anyway, sê to me, you won't believe what we received. We received a letter from the lawyer in the mail today. Dit was nou gister, toe hulle post gaan uithaal. Dit het on Friday, that they found our funds. And that the person who took these monies put the money he received from us separate. Ours is the only money found. The only from everybody. Who, who, skits, wacht, begin. God wants to bless you, my friend. He wants to use you. And sells your photo if you come to the Lord with them. You see, when there was all this means, we do make mistakes. But when we turn to the Lord, the word says so more in 2 Corinthians 3, uh, um, say, when there is someone that is here, they are the slayers weggevat. When we turn to God, He removes from us our wickedness. I believe that God is going to do great things for you and me, but then we need to turn to Him. Weet jy wat, dan moet ons na hom draai, om te sê, Jere, wat wil jy hee, moet ek met dit wat jy in my hande gesit het, doen? What do you want me to, us to do as a family? You see, it doesn't help. Paulus sê vir die gelaasjes, o jylle, dwaase gelaasjes, jylle het in die geest begin. You started in the spirit, but now you are ending in the flesh. God, what do you want us to do with what you are giving us? Lord, what do you want us to do? We're going to walk through these mighty doors of God. God's going to use it as a vehicle for his kingdom. And in the end, it will be a blessing to you and your family. If, but if we do it right. And for that, friend, with us, with our own heart to deal, we have to look at our hearts intently. And make a decision. I will follow no other voice. You weet, ek sit gister, nou sit en sê, kyk iets op die televisie, Christiana en die kids is al buiten, en jy weet, ek kan Christiana sy stem enige plek uitkend, en dit sit een miljoen mense. As hy sê, Andries, dan weet ek, nou moet ek roer. As ek, ek kan nie een minuut langer hier sit nie, nou, hier is iets wees, ek moet nou spoed vat. <laughs> Hallo, los wat jy doen en gaan. <laughs> Die toon beteken, Trouble on the horizon. As jy nie reageer nie, you might miss the chance to save a life. 
It might be your own life, <laughs> but you might still save it. <laughs> Maar ek verstaan, net so, die stem van die Heere in jou leven is nie een onbekende stem nie. Your conscience speaks. But we need to make them that commitment, God, as we step through this doors. As we so so in die ding instap, Heere. And I tell you, a mighty revival is about to take place in South Africa. I tell you now that we will not... The, the, the people we see governing will not govern much longer. God is about to bring change in South Africa. But it starts by, with us. And so oftentimes we allow other voices. And listen to this story of what Jesus said. Let's go four verses back. And it's so important in verse 3. Verse 3. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep listen to his voice. Hello. He calls his own sheep by name. The Yara Rubio by your name. He's walking a journey with you. But it means you and I need to commit ourselves. What, how does his voice sound? Thou mark net hierdie woord oop. And you will see his voice. Vers 4, gaan aan. Die Heere stop hier daar nie. He goes on. When he has brought out all his sheep. Want hy het allemaal uitgebring het, gaan hy voor hulle. And they follow him. Because they know his voice. Vriende, it is time that we obey the Lord truly. You know, the book of Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18, says the following. Thank you, Daniel. Sit with your up. Come now, let us settle the matter, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they, uh, they are as red as crimson, all as so roy as crimson, they shall be like wool. Verse 19, gaan aan. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good things of the land. As jylle gehoorzaam is, en gewillig is om te luister, en, en daar is een groot verskil, en as jy kinders groot maak, sien jy dit baie. Gewillig om te luister, is een baie moeilike ding. <laughs> is dit nie so nie? Nou, denk het aan jou eie lewe, as jou pa gesê het, moet nie dit doen nie, dan wil jy, kom ons toets dit. Hm? Kom ons toets dit. Jy speel nie meer met die maaikies nie. Huh? <laughs> and our hearts becomes our own stumbling block. Ons hart. But when we listen to God's voice, Father, on Stulat, Yere, I will listen to you. There's a thing about, you know, the Song of Solomon, Spreke said it, Ach, Hooglied sê so mooi, Moe nie die liefde aanwakker, Voor het nie die tyd van die liefde is nie. I find that our young people are so bombarded by the reality. Do you have a boyfriend? Do you have a girlfriend? Blah, 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 blah. Dat hulle totaal hieso, in a flat spin kom. And we allow things in our lives that we are not supposed to be exposed to. And we deal with teenagers with broken hearts. Because the voice speaking is not Jesus. It's the voice of competition. And the voice of MTV, or what is it, ETV, or what we call it now is. It's a different voice. And that, excuse toch? MTV is now in 1980s, I'm sorry. Huh? Is it not still? Okay, praise the Lord. I guess not so bad. Nie. But we allow what is fashionable. We allow what the world allows. And we do what we do. We end up with kids who are not so stuck in the world. Their hearts are broken. And they walk with wounds and pains. 
En als jij zei nee, weet je wat? Die, ek gaan het niet doen. Ze moet niet met ons over die Bijbel praten. Dat is altijd zo waar. Oh, kom me altijd. No problem. But I will follow the Lord. And I will in my home as far as I can obey his voice. And we will, we will listen. We will prosper. And people will see it and say, but why then? Who come? Hella. Because the willing and obedient eat the good of the land. Hulle eet die gedroogde vruchte broe, waar hy lekker peanuts met chocolate gekouwer. Huh? Wat is het? Afriland, wat is het? Is het Afriland? Hulle eet die Afriland gedroogde pakjes, macadamia's met rozijnkies. They live off the good. But you know, Every one of us have to check our own hearts. There's a shift happening. I really believe it. I really know that in this season, God is repositioning people. I really believe that God is preparing us. The Erebarai ons for a mighty work he is going to do. I really believe that many families will be moved from the places they are today. And when you see them again, they won't be there anymore. They, will be not, they won't be borrowing. They will be giving away. They will become centers of the goodness of God. Families will become places of healing and restoration. I believe that we'll see them becoming hubs of the glory of the Lord. Where men and the other can some fellowship and care and experience God's goodness. I really believe that our, our nation is ready for what God wants to do. But the only thing stopping it is the people of God busy with the flesh. Ik wil een voorbeeld af maak en vanmorgen gaan ek nie Steven gebruik, ek gaan Jan gebruik. In Jans workplace werk hy met een klomp ongeloofig is. <laughs> Julle gloor het nie, maar dit is die waarheid. Want hy werk by die oorschool. <laughs> and he can be, if he is, his heart is passionate for God. He can be a torch of the Lord. Yes. But no one say, hard chat, hey. Not with Nadia. Nie. Hey, chat with Yadia. <laughs> and, the, and the battle is for his heart. No one say, focus, war. He is so busy to do all these other things. Nadia, how much time did Jan say, you know, Vicky? And it's a moment, I know. He's, he's so occupied. You understand why the enemy uses a mistress or a mister? He's to do with the miss. You miss it. Hello. You are missing it. Because what is happening is your children are growing up right before you. You don't see them. The people that God puts on your way, your mind... That's why 1 Peter 1.13 says, prepare your minds for action. Read this on the Bible. This is not me. Prepare your minds for action. You're busy with something else. God wants to pour out revival where you are. He wants to pour out His power where you are. He wants to use your life. And there's a focus it's on us. And there's a battle for this man's heart every day. And that is the greatest spiritual battle is to keep your heart. That's why you put on the armor of God. So that you are ready in every situation to be used for the Lord. But now is a natural capture. So it's a yellow world. You are captured, my friend. And the enemy has planted a virus. And that virus will destroy your life. Jesus puts before you an open door of blessing. Says, follow me. My nose think, yeah, I will follow she. <laughs> or for her, I will follow he. Or I can't, you 
kom ons doen, kom ons doen dit. And our hearts are captured away from the Lord. Samuel is nou in die ouding, wat hy het al die geboeie gememoriseer, so heel tyd as ek kom sien, papa, wat is die vierde gebod? <laughs> ek weet nie meer nie. Steven, wat is die elfde gebod nou weer? <laughs> hy het die hele lijst buiten in die geboeie. Hy is nou nie wist bijgebring. Hy krijg in sy stilte tyd. But the point is, dan sê hy my, wat is die, weet jy, die tweede gebod is, die sal hier jou God alleen dien. You will have no other God before me. And unfortunately, friends, we, it's not the truth. Thank you, Kosi, for your lack of It's not the truth in many other people's lives. Because I tell you now, ons lijkt soos my Bruno, as hy achter die kar aangehoor het, ons tonge hang uit soos ons vir hierdie wereld leven. I speak to people who say, no, we need to rest on Sunday because we had such a busy week. Excuse God, I'm tired. You go do your own thing. I'm going to rest. Ga nie so bykie le, hier so, net hier so, hier so, hier so, hier so, hier so. Ons sal daar mekaar krijg, daar voor hy. God's kingdom is the first priority. Is it not saying, when we speak about the open door, Matthew 6.33, Jesus says, Seek you first the kingdom. Soek eerst die koninkrijk, en al die dinge gaan jy baie vergevoeg word. One of the greatest doors in your life is putting God first. When you do that, you're positioning yourself. You have to position yourself. Friends, our hearts are important. This morning, for ochtend, I will ask you a question. Look at your heart. What are the voices, what are the stemmen praat met you? What is moving you? Nee, hier jy het so gesê, en so gesê, en so, I don't care what people say, I will obey and follow Jesus. Amen? He is my priority. And we need to as believers understand, I believe we're entering a season of great blessing. Die hele wereld maak reg vir groot moeilikheid, but the children of God, my Bible says, that the Lord will lift up the righteous that God will bless the way of the righteous, that the Lord will be with them in trouble and deliver them. I believe it. But here's the key. What are the voices speaking in your life? Is it the Lord and His shepherd in your life? As the Heere Jesus in your life is, Psalm 23 says, The Heere is my head, I come like scored me. If the Lord is the Lord of your life, He puts a shepherd in your heart to guide you, to help. It will come through Him. But the key thing here, the sterile thing here is, let's deal with the voices speaking in our lives. What are the voices in your life? I have to look in mine. We are not immune. Ons is nie vrygeskeld van strategieën wat die vijand gebruik om ons harte te capture. We all have the same, we all have the same challenges to face. Just where you are, can you close your eyes in prayer this morning? Lord, I thank you that you love us. That you really care for us. That you've got such great things in store for us. You want us to live in it. In the blessing of the life you intended. For our children, for our kinders, our families. God, that you have intended such great blessing. But it means we need to follow your voice. And forgive us, God, for different voices that we allow to speak. We have voices that speak different and contradictory than your will. And Lord, we want to today cut them out. Ons wil het uitskyf. Net al waar jy is, kom skyf hy voor stem uit jou haar. Kom skyf my toe leven nou. I repent of it, Jesus, I stop it now.
I repent of it, Lord. I stop it now. God's voice is calling you to salvation, to repentance, to a life of fullness. Father, help us to follow your voice. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Friende, I believe that as we do, we will see the goodness and the power of God in an exceedingly abundantly way. And it will flood in the mouth of our lives.